Exercises without equipment that will transform your body quickly. You don't have the habit of going to the gym, but do you want to start training to change your body? So this video is for you. Today we are going to show you the five best exercises without equipment that will transform your body quickly. Shall we go there? Regular exercise plays a role in helping you maintain your overall physical and mental health. For many, exercising involves lifting weights or using other gym equipment. Although you can use weights and machines, these items are not mandatory. You can exercise using only the weight of your body. Even without dumbbells and other equipment, you can get in shape and improve your health from the comfort of your home. There are several benefits of doing a workout without equipment. It's convenient and affordable. You can exercise anywhere, whether at home, traveling, or at work. You don't need any equipment, nor do you need a gym. Remembering that a gym costs approximately $100 slash month. It's great for everyone, regardless of the level of fitness. Another reason why people don't go to the gym is that they care about their appearance. They may be new to weightlifting or not know how to build a training plan. Anyone at any level of fitness can do a workout without equipment. It's great for beginners. In addition, those with more experience can easily adjust their routine to be more challenging. He builds muscles and burns fat. By using the appropriate technique, body weight exercises can help you burn fat and build muscles at the same time. The first exercise is arm flexion. Push-ups are a resistance exercise without equipment that can help you increase muscle strength. And they're not just for serious gym goers. Whether you do traditional push-ups or a modified version, you will enjoy health benefits proven by research. The main benefits of push-ups are that she works several muscle groups among them, chest, shoulder, arms, and back. In addition, it increases the strength of the upper body. Push-ups are a great way to strengthen and tone the muscles of the upper body. This includes your chest, triceps, and shoulders. Finally, another great benefit of push-ups is the fact that it is good for the core. There are different types of push-ups. The most common are common flexion. Traditional flexion is the one that probably comes to mind first. It starts with your hands below your shoulders or a little wider. Your core must be firm. Your back should be straight and depending on your level, you can stand on your toes or on your knees. If you can't do a flexion on your toes, start with your knees on the floor until you progress. Slowly lower yourself to the floor. A common mistake that people make is to let the lower part of the body fall to the floor so that your hips touch the floor first or arch too high to ensure that your back is straight all the time. Keep your elbows close to the body and folded. Don't let them protrude to the sides. Diamond flexion. The diamond or closed flexion is another version you can try. While your body is the same as conventional flexion, your hands are closer, narrower than the width of your shoulders. Position your hands together so that your two index fingers and thumbs touch. The space between the two hands should form a triangle. Some people may find that diamond bending is more difficult to perform than with other different types of push-ups. It's also easy to let your elbows open to the side while lowering to the floor. It's easy with a closed grip flexion to allow the elbows to widen. To maintain the true form, make sure that they remain folded near their sides. Flexion with palm. In this version, its starting point imitates that traditional flexion. After bending to the ground, that's when the palm flexion begins. As you go up, you really need to lift yourself off the ground to have enough time and space to clap your hands before landing in the starting position again, ready for the next repetition. With plyometric bending, you need to land with your elbows slightly bent to absorb the impact of landing. Think about it the same way you would fall with your knees slightly bent if you were jumping on your feet. When landing, you should bend down for the next repetition and repeat. Use the landing impulse with your elbows bent and get up again. Enjoying the video so far? Have you been training for a while and your muscles don't seem to be developing? I've prepared a guide to get you out of this situation and gain muscle up to three times faster. The link to this guide is in the description and in the first comment attached. Also known as triceps bench, this is an exercise that will certainly change your body quickly. The muscles involved in this exercise include chest, back, and of course, the triceps. To perform correctly, keep the spine always straight and keep your shoulders on the same line as the trunk. And if you feel the need, you can add load. The third exercise without equipment is the lunges or better known as advance. Lunges are a popular strength training exercise among people who want to strengthen, sculpt, and tone their bodies. In addition to improving general physical conditioning, and the improving athletic performance. This resistance exercise is popular for its ability to strengthen the back, hips, and legs, improving mobility and stability. Lunges are ideal for those who 
wants to get stronger and for current athletes, including runners and cyclists. Some of the main benefits of this exercise include weight loss. The lungs work the large muscle groups of the lower body, which increases muscle mass and reduces body fat. This can increase your metabolism at rest, which allows you to burn more calories and reduce excess weight. If you are looking to lose weight, try your best, including dive into a high-intensity circuit training routine using heavy weights. Balance and stability. Lunges are a unilateral exercise of the lower body because you work on each side of the body independently. The movements of one leg activate your stabilizing muscles to develop balance, coordination, and stability. Working one leg at a time makes your body less stable, which forces the spine and core to work harder to stay balanced. Alignment and Symmetry Lunges are better than bilateral exercises for rehabilitation, as they can correct imbalances and misalignments in your body to make it more symmetrical. If you have a less strong or flexible side, spend a little more time working on this side so as not to compensate or overuse the dominant side. The fourth exercise we have is the abdominals. It is surprising how many people miss the abdominal muscles when they exercise. By doing this, they lose the numerous benefits of abdominal exercises. If you have been skipping your abdominal session, let's take a look at some of the main benefits of abdominal exercises. It improves performance in sports. Many sports or strenuous activities require balance, stability, and central strength, the exercises. Abdominals target these muscles and thus provide central force during the execution of the activity. These workouts allow players to transfer more energy from the core to the limbs, thus increasing performance and scores, unlike players who have weaker abdominal muscles. Reduces low back pain. Low back pain is a problem that affects many people of all backgrounds. Weak abdominal muscles contribute to the increase in low back pain. The muscles of the lower back that are not exercised become rigid in the joint areas and can lead to chronic low back pain. Improves your ability to bear weight. Abdominal exercises provide strength to support weight. An individual who practices abdominal exercises is in a better position to lift heavier weights without causing damage to the spine. This is because abdominal exercises strengthen the trunk and help provide a stable basis for lifting. Finally, we have the burpees. Despite the funny name, and perhaps not as well known as push-ups and squats, burpees are a challenging exercise that works many of the main muscle groups in the body. A burpee is essentially a two-part exercise, a flexion followed by a jump in the air. Burpee is a great exercise to burn calories. Most people can make about 20 burpees in a minute. Based on this, the table shows how many calories you can burn by making burpees non-stop for a minute, and it is possible to lose about 250 calories in 20 minutes of training. Burpees are a calisthenic exercise. This means that they use their body weight for endurance. With burpees, the focus is on a full body calisthenic training that aims to build muscle strength and endurance in the lower and upper body a standard burpee exercise works to strengthen the muscles of the legs, hips, buttocks, abdomen, arms, chest, and shoulders. In addition, burpees can be performed as part of a high-intensity interval training regimen, HIIT. HIIT is a type of cardiovascular training that requires you to do short bursts of intense exercises, followed by a short period of rest. A reliable research source showed that HIIT can be an effective way to burn body fat, especially around the abdomen and stomach area. In addition, according to a large study done in 2015, the researchers found that doing more vigorous forms of exercise seemed to be associated with a longer life. Exercise bonus one, fixed bar pull-ups. There are many ways to measure your abilities when it comes to physical conditioning, and the fixed bar is the perfect example of an exercise that can be used as a reference. If you want to work to improve your physique, get stronger, or simply reach a certain number of repetitions, no one can deny the many benefits of fixed bars. This is one of the most effective back strengthening exercises. In addition to working the back, the movement on the bar strengthens and sculpts the shoulders, forearms, and pectorals. When performed correctly, they also involve your abdominals, including the deep abdominal transverse, making them a great exercise to reach many of the body's main muscles. Making a fixed bar regularly can also improve the definition when combined with a healthy diet and a whole body exercise program. If you've made it this far, I'm sure you liked the video. Here's the thing, have you been training for a while and your muscles don't seem to be developing? I've prepared a guide to get you out of this situation and gain muscle up to three times faster. The link to this guide is in the description and in the first comment attached. Bonus exercise two. Number one, mountain climbers. Mountain climbers is an explosive body weight exercise that involves several muscle groups at the same time 
helping to improve your balance, agility, coordination, strength, flexibility, and blood circulation. As a compound exercise that uses various muscle groups throughout the body, these exercises are an effective way to strengthen the arms, back, shoulders, core, and legs. Another benefit of using several muscles at the same time is the increase in heart rate, which will help you burn more calories. This makes it a great exercise if your goal is to get more definition in the abdominal region. Mountain climbers can also improve their reflex speed, joint movement, and overall stability. In fact, you don't need any equipment as you can perform climbers anywhere and at any time. To learn more, keep watching to discover our main tips and a step-by-step -step guide to make a climber. How to do it? Start in a bending position with your hands shoulder width, directly below your shoulders. As fast as you can, pull your right knee towards your chest without letting it touch the floor and return to the starting position. Continue until you complete the required amount of repetitions. And you, do you practice calisthenics? Which of these exercises do you do every day?